Hey everybody, just want to do a quick recap of the rules for the blind Calcutta auction. Um, last year, I thought it was a great success and we had a lot of action, so we're excited about that. One thing we're going to do differently this year is we're going to open it up to the public. Um, so family, friends, anybody who's interested in wagering some money on the Daddle Cup um, can get into the action via the app. Um, they'll have access to all this information. Um, in order to participate so real quick one unit is ten dollars each player on a pairing must at least wager one unit on his pairing so it's an automatic mandatory bid of at least one unit uh, for each individual golfers once the pairings are announced you can wager any amount of units on any pairing without limit and we'll show you an example of that from last year um, and the payout will be determined by the percent of units owned of total units on that winning pairing. So this will make more sense once we go through last year's um, betting action. So day one, 2020, the pairings were posted. Um, black one, two, three, four, five, red one, two, three, four, five, um, coordinate with the chart and the table. And you can see here all the different tallies of wagers. So Dom bet five units on <clears throat> himself and Evan, five units on myself and Chris, and he was in for a total of 10 units or $100 and then add his additional one unit for himself and his pairing. So all in all, we had a, a total number of 182 units for a total pot of $1,820. Um, we did have a tie because we were betting on the number of holes one. Again, we were betting on the number of holes one. So actually, if you look at number of points won, Zamp and Dan did outscore Evan and Dom in day one, but we weren't betting on points, we were betting on holes. So each Evan and Dom and Zamp and DB won nine holes, and we had to split the pot due to the tie. Um, so we'll just run through some of the payouts and how they worked with the wagering. So you can see here that Dom had five out of the 33 total units bet on Evan and Dom for a 15% share of those total units. So he got paid $138. Chris had three units wagered on Evan and Dom out of the 33 for 9%. He got $83 um, and so on and so on. Zero had a nice payday with um, 10 units wagered on Evan and Dom for a 30% share, $276. Um, this was just an example we played out for the black team. We did the same calculations for red, um, just to show that you can bet any amount on any pairing. Uh, we had our beloved Carmen uh, bet a total of 30 units on Paul and Howie. He didn't necessarily understand the rules. I will give him the benefit of the doubt, but as you can see, you can clearly wager as much as you would like to on any pairing that you would want, including yourself, and you would win the percent of the total units wagered on that team. So I hope that um, we get some more action opening it up to the public. Um, I hope people are interested in that. And also one thing we're going to change this year is we are going to be wagering on the number of points scored. So our spreadsheet already calculates this. So we're going to bet on number of points won as opposed to number of holes won. So bet on number of points won and the number of holes won will be the tiebreaker. Please, everyone has my number. If you have any questions, you can text me on the side. Um, and if we need to, I'll certainly go over this the night of the draft. So I look forward to seeing you all at the cup. Hope you're getting your rounds in and that's all.